Hello, this is Heard, and welcome to a video on Minecraft Nintendo 3DS Edition. I have a lot to get into, but you might know that this version of the game released about three weeks ago. I'm a little late, but that's because I wanted to give this edition a good chunk of time to develop my thoughts on it before I let you know about it. Also, this is not footage of the Nintendo 3DS Edition you're seeing on your screen right now. This is actually footage of the Nintendo Switch Edition. I'll get into that that reason in a moment, but before I do that, I also have to say a big thank you to Nintendo for sending me a copy of the 3DS edition. They also sent me a copy of the Switch version back when that released, I think, earlier this year. So thank you so much to Nintendo for doing that, uh, just for disclosure's sake. But why can't I record footage of the 3DS version? That's just because it's actually a new Nintendo 3DS, a new Nintendo 2DS exclusive. I can only capture footage on the normal Nintendo 2DS. That's what my capture card is in. So I just, I literally do not have a way to record it. I tried putting my camera to it. My camera didn't really like it. And I couldn't really get any good quality out of it that you could actually watch and enjoy. So I'm just gonna be talking about it. There's plenty of gameplay footage online that I'm sure you can look at. And if you wanted to just see the visuals of the game, I'm sure you would have seen it by now. But I'm gonna be talking more about the, uh, I guess the controls, like how it feels to play Minecraft 3DS Edition. It is the newest version, but is it the best version of mobile Minecraft? And I don't know. I do want to say I was actually surprised with how good it is. It's not bad. It's definitely not bad at all. But that's why I can't record footage of it, and that's why you're seeing footage of the Switch Edition, which is actually a fantastic point of reference because I'm gonna be actively comparing it to that because they're both on Nintendo consoles. They're both the two newest versions of Minecraft on a mobile console or device of any sort. And they're both pretty solid versions of Minecraft. But like I said, I really didn't know what to expect when going into Minecraft 3DS Edition. I didn't know if it was going to be any good or not, if it was going to be awkward, if it was going to be clunky or anything. I'm playing on the new, the new Nintendo 2DS XL, so it does have the C-Stick, but I think all new Nintendo DSs do. Uh, or new Nintendo 3DS or 2DSs. I, get, I, I know all of you are probably just as confused as I am with all the lingo, but the C-Stick is very useful. Of course, the C-Stick is a little stick on the right, and that helps you, of course, move your vision. It's very, very useful, especially, like, it would not be playable, I think, on a normal DS, and that's why they didn't make it available for that. It controls pretty well. I would say that doing the typical stuff like mining, foraging, knocking down trees, building blocks is actually not that bad. It really wasn't difficult at all. Where I ran into some issues was even on the easy difficulty, I had a very hard time with combat. I could sprint, I could run, I could take on one or two zombies, a skeleton or two, but when I was in a deep cave trying to get that extra piece of diamond and three or four zombies showed up, that's when I would almost always die or get beaten up so badly that I would have to turn around and run away. Uh, I think that's really pretty well remedied by just being careful if you have a lot of armor, if you have the best ar armor, and if you have stuff like bows and arrows, that can help you a ton with surviving in combat. But that initial combat at the very beginning of the game, if you're trying to get early diamonds or even early gold or iron, and you run into a couple of zombies, you might have a hard time. Stuff that like, uh, once again, if you're prepared enough, wouldn't be an issue. But if I was doing that same thing on the PC version or even on the console versions, I wouldn't have too much of an issue. So it does sort of have that downside that the game really feels harder to play overall. But for the most part, it's totally fine. So if you can get around that, and if you can get used to the controls, if you can spend a lot of time on it and just really get used to the control side, I'm sure you'll be totally fine. Now, there are actually some things about how the game controls that I actually liked better than normal uh, Minecraft console editions, like the Switch version and the PS4 version, and that's that you always actively have the map available to you. And one thing I don't like about even the Switch version, as you can see on the screen right now, like if I wanted to see the map, I would have to go to the map slot and then have my character look down to see where I am. On the 3DS version, it is always on the bottom screen at all times, and that is really nice. I like that a lot. And it's just really easy to be able to physically look down, see where you are, and still be able to actively, you know, look at your top screen to be able to switch between that's much quicker than, of course, having to pull out a map. And then while you have the map out, you can't pull out your weapon, you might be in danger. You know, if you're running away from monsters dark at night and you're trying to find your way home, that can be really tough. So that remedy gets remedied a lot with that. I think it's a really nice touch. And it's a way to make the game a little bit easier in exchange for it being a little bit more difficult with the controls. Now, I do think they could have made it a little bit more easy, and I think the best way they could have done that is when you pull up the menus. If you go ahead and you try to change your inventory or you're opening a chest, it would have been really nice if, if when you do that, it pauses the game, but it doesn't. 
So if for whatever reason I really need to pull out my sword, if I accidentally put it in the wrong spot in my inventory, or maybe my sword broke and I have a second one, I have to go and pull it up, but I can still be attacked during that time, and that's just really difficult because, like I said, the controls being harder to access, harder to manage. So I would like that to be something maybe reconsidered where the game pauses, or maybe even just have that option in the options menu to pause the game when you're doing in-menu things, because using the touchscreen did take a little bit to get used to, but once I got used to it, it was actually pretty intuitive. You can tap on an item and then tap where you want it to be, and it's just boom, boom, bam, real quick. And that's actually better than, of course, trying to slide your cursor over or select each unit one by one like you have to do in other console versions. If there's something on the other side of your inventory, it takes to, like one quick click, which is nice, but I don't think that's enough to remedy the fact that the game doesn't pause when you bring up the menu system. But how about the game itself? How does the game run? Is it laggy? Is it choppy? All that kind of stuff. I will say it does lag out occasionally. If you're going into a new biome, if you're loading new chunks, yeah, it's gonna slow down a little bit, but most of the time you don't notice it. If you are regularly in your home environment, the more you, time you stay in there, the more it's, it better loads that area. So if you're you know staying in like one or two local biomes and you're bouncing between and you're staying at your home for the most part, you shouldn't run into too many slowdowns. It's one you explore. So I would say definitely, you know, until you get used to the game slowing down every once in a while while you explore, maybe try not to explore explore during the night. That kind of stuff might be helpful. But beyond that, yeah, the game is very, very playable. The biggest obstacle when it comes to actually the game itself would probably be getting used to the small resolution. Uh, no matter how big the XL screen is, the resolution of the game itself is still only 240p. And because of that, some details can be lost, especially if you're trying to look far in the distance, it doesn't really look that great. Uh, I have also noticed it got really confusing because sim simple things like the two tall or two block tall grass uh, little things you can break, of course, I give you seeds. If you're far enough away from them, they actually just look like two green blocks stacked together. So they look like a cactus from really far away just because of how it rendering works. So that was a little weird. It was actually pretty hard to tell what some things were from a good distance. So I'd walk a couple couple like blocks, like 20, 30, 40 blocks to go check something out and realize it wasn't a cactus, it was you know this. So I'm sure that might actually end up happening a couple times as you see something in the distance, it's not actually what you thought it was and you have to turn around and come back. That might end up happening to you. And it's once again, I think really it takes some time to get used to him. But there are a lot of criticisms, there's a lot of good things too. Like I said, it's a very capable version of Minecraft. By no means is it unplayable, by no means is it more problems than it is good things. It's a decent version of Minecraft, and that's sort of what I have to say about it, is that if you do not have any other console or mobile device that can play a Minecraft, you know, my, can play Minecraft, this isn't a bad option. It's not one of those things where it's like, oh, if you only have a 3DS, just don't bother playing Minecraft because this version's bad. It's a good version. It's just the other versions are definitely better. As far as I'm concerned, the Nintendo Switch version is very good. It's, in my opinion, the best console version because you have all the features and all the capabilities you would have for the Xbox One and PlayStation 4. I mean, until Super Duper comes out, the Super Duper graphics pack, then maybe Xbox and Windows 10 will be sort of feature-wise better. But if you don't care about the Super Duper graphics pack, the Nintendo Switch version is really good. They just released the Better Together update, which means Nintendo Switch and Xbox and Windows 10 players can all play together on the same server. So if that's a perk to you, if you want to play with your friends, uh, I don't really know what the multiplayer capabilities are. I don't even know if you can play this game online on the 3DS version. I actually didn't really consider that too much. Personally, I'm the kind of person who likes to play Minecraft solo for the most part. Servers are fun and I do them occasionally and I've played them with you guys as Zebraherd in the past, but Mostly when it comes to me enjoying Minecraft the most, I like to play it single player. So if we go down the list of mobile Minecraft versions from like best to worst, where would Minecraft Nintendo 3DS land? It's really hard to sign. I personally haven't played the mobile version, Minecraft Pocket Edition, but I know it's very feature rich and I know that there's a lot of custom ability to it. Of course you have servers, you have the ability to have custom, I think they're not called mod packs, but you know what I'm talking about. If you know Pocket Edition, you can have like customized stuff that the community creates that I think also Windows 10 has. On top of that, um, it's just, you know, very accessible because it doesn't really matter too much on what your device is. Of course, some devices will run Minecraft Pocket Edition better than others. So really, it just depends on what device you have. Uh, then there, of course, is Minecraft Nintendo Switch Edition. Like I said, this is my favorite version of console Minecraft to date. 
Then there's also a Minecraft Vita version. A lot of people forget about that one, and I think it's okay. I didn't play it too much, but I know you have the two joysticks. I think it was a very accessible form of Minecraft, and a lot of people who have played it definitely vouch for it. I think it's decent. So I would say if at anything, the 3DS version probably ties with this, the uh, the Vita version and you know the ability that it has. I would say that in some ways, the 3DS version is a little bit worse, but once again, it's definitely not bad. I feel like that's sort of a really bad way to explain it, but overall, Minecraft 3DS version is good and definitely not bad. It just depends on what your options are. If you have more options available to you, like if you have a really good phone, or if you have a Nintendo Switch, I would suggest getting those versions instead. But if you have a bad phone, or you just don't have any other device that plays Minecraft right now, this isn't a bad option at all. Now, when it comes to the future of Minecraft 3DS Edition, I wouldn't go in with much expectations. I wouldn't go in expecting any mashup packs. I wouldn't go in, go in expecting any DLC. If you're buying the 3DS version, expect to buy it and it to stay the way it is. Like, I mean, I'm not saying that they won't update Updated. I'm just saying don't expect it because I don't really know how they're gonna support this with it being so late in the 3DS's life cycle. I mean, I just don't expect something like that, but at the same time, maybe I'm being a little bit negative with that. I don't really know what they've said about updating the game, but hopefully they do. And maybe you could wait it out to see if they do add any updates and then you can make a decision then. But I think that's all the thoughts I have on the Minecraft 3DS version. I'd love to hear yours. Do you have the 3DS version of Minecraft? And if so, what are your thoughts on it? Or if you're thinking about getting it or you end up getting it, you know, you can let me know. All that kind of cool stuff. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching today's video on Minecraft Nintendo 3DS edition. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.